Hello beautiful people, welcome to the channel. Reverend Debbie here, hope you're all doing well. Lunas are blessings to you all. Today I am out in the forest. Um, I had to, I couldn't stay in any longer. I'm still COVID positive, although it is a very um, faint line on the test. So, but I'm not near anybody. I'm, there's nobody. I've not seen a person while I've been here. Um, but I decided to draw a card for you guys today. Um, I haven't done the cards for so long, but it's something that I'm probably going to get back to in the near future, time permitting. So the card that I drawn today is the Meadow card, Vulnerability, and this is from my um, Earth Magic Oracle deck. Now this card is all about allowing yourself to be vulnerable, allowing yourself to open up to somebody in your life. It could be a friend, a romantic partner, prospective romantic partner, or family member, or even yourself. You may decide you want to start being vulnerable with yourself. And <clears throat> right now, for me, I'm feeling that that vulnerability is a good thing. I'm allowing myself to be who I actually am. I was not allowed to be that person for a very long time. I was not allowed to be the real me, but now I am. Now I can be, and so can you. So put aside all of those fears that you have. When we walk into a meadow, we see flowers and grass around us. But it's open. It's open to nature. And some of us can feel very vulnerable in that situation if we bare our soul to somebody. And it can be difficult, especially if we've gone through something that's really traumatic in a relationship where we don't want to discuss these things. We don't want to um, share these things with other people. But sometimes it's necessary to do that. Now, you may not have a friend or somebody that you feel you're ready to share these things with. Journal. Write them into your journal. I've got my journal right here. I'm sat here making notes and writing poetry. So journal it down. Write it in your journal. Write down your vulnerabilities, what it is that makes you feel vulnerable. And know and remember that sometimes you are going to be vulnerable to a situation. And that could be in any situation. It might be, for example, that you have a speech to make to a group of people who you don't know. Perhaps it is an essay that you have to put in for your degree, which I did and managed to get my distinction. But I was terrified. I was terrified that I was not going to get that distinction. It was very important to me to get that distinction. It was a, a goal I had set myself. Although I didn't need that distinction to pass, I wanted it for my own personal uh, worth. So this vulnerability and allowing yourself to be vulnerable in front of other people, in front of beings around you, you can do that. You can do that. I promise you, you can. So, if you can, take a few moments today to maybe meditate on something that you um, want to uh, let go of your vulnerability around. Something that you want to be stronger around. Something that you need inner strength for. You can do it. Put it down on paper. Write it out. Make it a positive for you and your life going forwards. Maybe if you can, go and stand in an open field full of flowers and plants and grasses. Perhaps even lay down in the middle of it and look at the sky. And realise that you are this teeny tiny speck of dust in an entire universe. What can be more vulnerable than that? Blessed be.